Hello, my love, Sagittarius. Welcome to this reading and warm welcome to this channel. How are you doing? I hope you're very, very well. Now, today we are going to have a look at your money blessings. Yes, indeed. Everything regarding money, things that you can touch, the things that you want and need in your life, career, finances, whatever that is. Okay. This is timeless reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, especially the Venus because Venus runs the or rules the second house of money. So just keep that in mind. This is a collectively for all Sagittarius is, 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 is in the world. Anyways, what we're going to do today is I'm going to have a look first what's going on right now in your life. Okay, with these two decks here. Then I'm going to be asking a question what you need to stop or less to do uh, to, to somehow maybe improve the situation. Then I'll be asking what to continue. Okay, what well, are you doing good? Then um, what do you need to start? Perhaps something, whatever it is, we'll see. The cards will tell. I will ask a couple of questions um, from angels. What kind of advice they can give you? And of course, um, beautiful, oh, dead end, interesting. Oh, wow. <laughs> no return. So um, the road sign cards I just wanted to show you was a example here i made them myself so they're very good on kind of determining what kind of journey is about to happen what's coming on the way all right let's start shall we thank you so much for being here when you like and comment share subscribe it really helps me to help you to um deliver this message and that's what i call energy exchange you ready sag let's dive in Let's dive in. Sagittarius. Oh, thank you. Distant horizons. Dream big or go, go home. <laughs> Literally, dream big or go home. This is a timeless reading, but we just had new moon in Pisces. And it's really about imagine, imagination, what your future could look like. Overcome the fears and do things anyway. Do be scared even that's the case. I feel like some of you want to really... I'm seeing a sail, of course, I'm seeing a, a ship here, but I'm feeling like either windsurfing or some sort of sail, but this could be um, in metaphor, talking, pulling up the sail, letting the wind blow in and ready for the journey. Wherever you're going. I feel like someone is really... Some of you are really preparing yourself for some sort of big journey, change. Either this is starting work, ch changing work, retiring. It's a big change. Okay. Clouds. Something unknown. Okay. Interesting. Something unknown. Oh. Oh. I am feeling Columbus energy. <laughs> it is weird, random, I know. Are you, and you are very, very brave, Sag, because I feel like some of you are really in the midst of starting something new. You don't know exactly how is this going to come because currently you're feeling like, okay, I don't know how is this going to unravel, how long this is going to take or how much that's going to cost. But I know I need to do this. Bear is very strong, loyal, determined, feisty, yet hardworking. Maybe some of you are starting or planning to start work uh, on your business, on your some sort of project, learning something. Whatever the age is, some of you are really literally saying to yourself, I need to do this. I Okay, no, let's revert it. I can't not do this. Hence, you are very determined that things are going to work out. Okay, how is this going to work out? You don't know. When is that going to work out? You don't know either. One thing is for sure, you cannot stay as you are right now. Yeah. Hence, um, the change is coming. Maybe some of you are moving home, house, whatever it is. Okay, let's dive in what you need to stop doing. Candle is giving. Can you see the candle? It's a bit kind of, yeah. It was giving kind of a little bit of a, a smoke there. Interesting. Spirit is around, that's for sure. Spirit is very active. Yeah, the, the, 
the, you can't see perhaps, unless you can see against the wall, the, the candle is dancing. Candle is dancing. Anyways, so let's dive in. Sag, what you need to stop doing. Four cups. Oh, wow. Emperor. Ace of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. If you have been procrastinating, feeling a little bit sorry for yourself or feeling for the right time to come, the cards are telling, they're telling me to tell you, you have everything you need. Emperor has everything in order. Okay. You don't need no more course. You don't need no more procrastinating type of activity to take place for you to start this. Okay. You don't need more money. You don't need nothing more. Everything what you need for the journey is right in front of you. If you are doing something, say in a, in a terms of saying, oh, I need to have this course so I can start to write this book. I need to uh, wait for something else to happen. You are procrastinating. And it's just the cards are really letting me know and to let you know, don't put off. If you, whatever you're doing, just saying, I need to finish this so I can start to do this journey or start to fulfill this dream, you are procrastinating. And maybe because you don't know how long is that going to take, how is that going to look, what the end result, what looks good like, you know, and I hear you, I hear you, okay? But just start, make it Make it happen, make mistakes, you learn, but you will have the activity. And as, as I have to say, especially in this, I feel like some of you are very creative or very ambitious. You will have the ideas will come to you as you are doing it. If you're not doing this, what you need to do, no idea will come to you. And if the idea comes, you will procrastinate, you will put it off. Mm -hmm. Let's dive in what you need to continue. Saj, what do you need to continue? Continue the journey. You are at the beginning. Look, full is the major tarot first card. Or call zero. It depends on the deck, right? It's it's really kind of fearless card. Before any more cards. I really wanted to speak about this. And it does feel like as if like you're gonna fall off the cliff. It feels so big. But this is it. Don't stop. Don't stop now. Don't stop dreaming. Don't stop doing things. And foolish kind of, sometimes you could say, are you being foolish? Yes, you have to kind of weigh up the pros and cons. But. But. Continue. Continue the journey. You're going to learn a lot. If you look at the, the whole tarot, major tarot, for example, um, major tarot cards, it's the journey. You go through the various stages. And if you knew the end result, what's the point? It's like saying to, oh, I want to go on a holiday. And then to come back, right? And so if you already know what the holiday is going to be like, what's the point to go? You, you might as well stay where you are because that's where you're going to turn up. Back to the square one. I know it's a bit silly, silly kind of. Um, example, but you you know that what I mean, right? Carry on, okay. Yeah, <laughs> do not stop. Um, like ten of wands is very controversial card sometimes, but this is a card for you. Is this persistence will pay off? And yes, sometimes you can say, is this my is this my care? Is this my load that I'm carrying? Is this my responsibility that I'm carrying? Well, it is for you because you have got there so much information. This every single one is experience. You have learned so much. Keep carrying on. Well, this is a card of business people or sports people who would wake up early in the morning before everyone's awake and do what they need to do. You're prepared. Continue to do. No one else is prepared to do. And don't quit five minutes before. Interesting, you have two tens. It feels like 
enjoy the journey as as i know as some you know, some would say oh, enjoy the journey enjoy the journey yes ten of cups is enjoy as you do have a bit fun okay don't take yourself too seriously we have a seven of pentacles it kind of feels like um i'm just looking at the clock it was 10 10 interesting 10 10 um it feels like keep still without procrastinating keep your eye on does this make does this make sense am i on the right path can i improve yes that's all welcome okay and um observe as well when, how you can improve what else you can do okay let's have a look at um what to start what you need to do what you need to start doing Sag. <laughs> queen of cups oh wow three of wands oh wow six of wands and page of cups underneath be gentle to yourself sometimes you can come across quite harsh okay and not to others maybe not as much but to yourself definitely and queen of cups is queens are patience okay the queens are more about listening making decisions and being patient and especially with the cups this is emotional being caring not just for others but for yourself as well give yourself a credit especially when you have six ones start celebrating your small successes the, your daily successes that you have okay overcoming fear take fantastic uh getting a little some sort of material to do maybe you want to do some clothing or maybe you want to do something else and bit by bit oh i found information that i wanted i found a good material that i want to make the dress or i found a perfect uh client and fantastic and yes you could say oh yeah it's just the one so that's all starts with the one it's always starts with the one and from there on it builds it builds it builds it builds and start as well looking ahead plan as if you are the ceo of the, the the company you are ceo of your life you are the manager the box stops with you no one else look what else you can do what else is out there and and give yourself a credit like pr pr prepare create a plan whatever it is as if like you take seriously what you do don't take seriously yourself perhaps and have a little bit of fun as well because pages are uh you are learning to this is something completely new very often we would say yes i want to change it but do i want to change mm, not so much right but with page of cups here is there's kind of some some new energies coming your way a new person perhaps you are engaging with the people from different walks of life uh from different viewpoints and that will definitely help you because you are about to turn your life 180 around. Forgiveness. Forgive yourself. That's what angels want to tell. Forgive yourself not to start earlier and not and for making mistakes. Okay. That is that organic forgiveness. Ask your angels. And sometimes, I'm going to shock you maybe, sometimes angel will appear in a human body, okay? Ask your team of angels or a team of spiritual team for help and support. Guide, please give me the guidance. Please guide me to the book that I need to read. Please guide me to the right answer. Give me a signal. Give me, a, you know, like they love because they will sometimes not interfere because you have free will, okay? And they do respect that. They respect your free will. You got to ask, and you are no, you're not troubling them at all. They love conversations, and I have created you create a relationship, okay? And it's there already. You just pick up the phone, imaginary phone, or have a place in the house, as if you're sitting there and have a special place where you speak to your uh, whatever, how you connect with God, universe, angels, whatever, and have a conversation in your mind or out loud from your heart. And that is like casting a spell. That is like a prayer. Ask for help, support. And trust as well. If you say, I'll trust you to help me and support you, me in divine time for the highest good. Have faith in that as well. Here we are. Magician, you are, you are creating something absolutely amazing. And I feel like the angels want to say, you create, you're a creator. And once you realize that power that your thoughts and energy and intentions matter, Whew, you are unstoppable. 
you are unstoppable Sagittarius let's have a look what kind of road journey or what kind of journey is ahead of yourself okay let's have a look diversion yeah hence you have the clouds a little bit here as well things are not going to be straightforward and i think you like that in some ways okay otherwise there's what is the fun okay what is the fun but what happens when diversion is that means that there's a road closure or this is not the road you need to take so something else will happen okay you need to take a different part of road so you might meet different type of people you might meet something else and if you were not taking the road you will never meet this person you will never come across this experience or knowledge whatever it is so this is kind of blessing in disguise don't take changes or things like that as negative take as a positive and sometimes i'm going to tell again sometimes if things don't happen they happen for a reason and it's a blessing you were spared you were saved from something that you did not need to experience and thank god for that but here we are you are on a journey on a big and big boy big girls boots on and ready to embrace it embrace it indeed that's all i have for you i hope it helps let me know in the comment section and Thank you so much for being here and as i said thank you when you subscribe like comment and share it really helps me to help you um, but if you want to stick around please come to welcome to my channel there's plenty to explore i do daily shorts angel and tarot reading and there's plenty um pick a card readings and all kind of stuff in my channel there so you will not be bored anyways thank you so much again sending you love and light and abundance until the next reading